Hello there guys and welcome to kind of like a summary of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the chat about Black Ops 3 Call of Duty 2015. It's only like three months away or something like that. I don't know, November. And yeah, it's going to be great. But anyway, we're going to talk about Advanced Warfare first, what I think of it, my rating out of 10 positives and negatives. And this video is all going to be in like five minutes or something. So yeah. Advanced Warfare, it's actually been a really good revolutionary COD because it's like the first COD that's been specifically designed for like next gen consoles because Call of Duty Ghosts was actually released when old gen was out, not when next gen was out, so yeah. And yeah, hopefully Black Ops 3 is a bit more designed for next gen, if you know what I mean, optimised kind of thing better graphics but anyway advanced warfare i love the exos but i couldn't do it in every card man i love just pre like predicting where the enemies are going to go like instead of just jumping over walls but we'll walk around it exactly where you're aiming you know what i mean that's what like i kind of dislike and like you know what i mean and yeah exosuits were actually a good idea and i hope black ops 3 doesn't have them in though. i hope like the wall running thing i'm fine with it but Hopefully it isn't OP as hell, man. Hopefully it isn't. And if you're wondering why you can't see me face, it's just because everything's a bit hectic at the minute and this is actually not a live commentary. I just have a bit of gameplay on screen of one shot. It's a pretty decent game as well. But yeah, Advanced Warfare, the negatives. Well, there isn't too many amazing weapons. Like, on Black Ops 2, you had them standout weapons like MSMC and all them kind of weapons. Fair enough, we'll have the ball with AK-12, but them are just more like overused weapons on OP. And the PDW on Black Ops 2 was amazing. Hopefully it makes a comeback on Black Ops 3 because I would love it. The PDW pistol has been in Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty 2014, which is Advanced Warfare. So will it be making a comeback as its normal weapon, you know what I mean? The SMG version, the good version, in black ops 3 who knows and also black ops 3 has been announced on all gen consoles which means for us next genies that the game's going to be designed for all gen and next gen but more specifically next gen because i don't know just it there was a bit of confusion whether it will be on all gen but i think it won't work anywhere near as well and it just take up all of last gen's memory because it's just going to be so big man and it'll be hard on the graphics kind of thing the graphics side of old gen so i know this is a bit mixed up but yeah my rating of advanced warfare whoo i think i'm going to be kind of give it a 7.5 out of 10 because i really did like the concept of it but i just I didn't enjoy it anywhere near as much as I did Black Ops 2. So on the Black Ops 3, even though I have talked about it a lot already, it's going to be epic by the looks of the trailer. Like, the trailers aren't always that good, man. Like, the trailer, it was iffy, okay? I, I liked the way it was presented, but I didn't like the things inside. The miniguns that come out with hands just look a bit OP and newbie kind of thing. And I don't know, it's going to be hit or missy here. But I'm hoping it's going to be good. Now, I bet you guys are really hoping it's going to be good. Because I don't want to be stuck on Advanced Warfare Call of Duty Ghosts. I might, I might jump, jump back on Black Ops 2. Because a few of you guys have been requesting us to go back on PS3. Now I've changed my setup. I can incorporate my PS3 in it. And everything will be very good. I might make a separate video. Talking about Black Ops 3. Just so I can like. It'll be a bit more order anyway guys thanks so much for watching i can't wait for call of duty 2015 which is black ops 3 and that's all i've got to say sorry my face isn't it and i'll catch you guys tomorrow